Welcome to voice thread tutorial. What is voice thread? It's called conversations in the cloud. All of us who've taken some form of online or even a face to face have had to participate or asked our students to participate in a discussion format. Discussion allowed the students to collaborate together, to work, to comment in each other's work, to create more of that life a life interaction uh, between students. And while discussion are a, an important and an integral part of the online classroom or the interaction online, sometimes it can be a little static. So voice thread allows you to add that element of voice, of video to your, uh, to your discussion. So as with anything, we have to create an account. To create an account, click on register. You get this information you fill in first name last name now it does not have to be your real first name and last name if you don't wish so you can be mr math cool or mr cool math or i had a uh, someone called uh, tooth teacher uh, so tooth and teacher is your last name your email address has to be an actual email that only voice thread communicate with you so once you complete the information this is a free account so you do not have to enter anything credit card or any other personal information. Click register. As with any of these kind of accounts, an email will be sent to your email and that's why it's important to have an actual email to verify your account. This simply means that you are an actual person and not a robot creating multiple accounts. So now you're registered, you verified your account, we're getting into now creating these uh, voice thread. So the first thing I want to do is I want to browse and show you. There are hundreds and thousands of these. So I'm going to start with math. I click on math and I come to all of these. So this one, it says Mr. Created by Mr. Wilson uh, in 2011. Steward Stars, I presume this is the name of the school, are making a pledge to do a little extra math. This I means how many people have viewed this. Notice that this voice thread has been viewed 1,564 times. When you hover over this, there are three comments on this voice thread. Okay, the same thing this one has. This voice thread will let you, uh, will tell you how to solve a double digit. Okay, in 2058 view, 12 comments. Uh, let's uh, try on nursing. So this one, it says definition of nursing. I presume in this case, it's a class assignment because it's all says, you know, Sarah, the name of the student's definition of assignment. So when I hover over it, 14 people viewed it, two people commented on it and, and so on. Excuse me. I presume this is by the teacher because when I click on it, you see her voice. So right now, this is how you can find others. How do we create? Uh, so I'm, this video is for from the creation to participating in it, so from a teacher to uh, a student. I'm going to create a new voice thread. I click on create. I get to this circle right there, add media. When I click on add media, I get all these options from my computer so I can find the file and the file that you're going to see that I've created have been PowerPoints. Uh, some actually have been PowerPoint slides that I saved as pictures media sources so let's say if you have an account in uh, dropbox webcam uh, photo if i want to take a picture of myself uh, and uh, have students comment on something uh, and webcam or also sending a url so once you send it how do you share it with your students or with others so i'm going to go home to my home i'm going to this is one of my videos created by dr carmen so I'm going to click on this one and uh, I'm going to forward several slides because I've been making comments as I'm creating the tutorials. See these three lines right there? When I click on it, I get these options. So voice thread details going to tell me when it was created, how long it is, who has it. Now I get to, I can edit. Uh, if you find, uh, if you, if you search and find uh, some of uh, some uh, voice thread uh, that you want to subscribe to you can or make a copy so right now I want to share so I click on share and it gives me this option I can copy a link 
I can embed or I can post. So this is, if it's secure, if I don't want to, and that's where you upgrade to using secure, this is the pay general information. So I'm going to use right there under the, the easiest thing is to just go copy a link, link, uh, copy to clipboard. So I'm going to go to my email address, send an email, and I'm just sending it quickly right now, just to, yes, go ahead, send anyway. So I get the email right there. Let me bring it from my other screen and then I open it. And it's going to open my, it's going to open in my video. So this is what I get when I open it. So I open my video and I'm just going to forward the slides. Uh, so notice that I can actually type in Arabic. I can type in English. This is an audio. Skip and I'm going to skip. Okay. Adapt. This, I've been creating this tutorial so so right now uh this is the uh, the slide and i want to make comments so let me just make it a little so i can show you nope okay because i'm trying to get right there let's see okay so when see that plus sign when i click on it this half a circle open and it says uh comment Add a, add a comment. So this is when I click on it, type a text comment. When I click right there, make a comment using your phone. When I click right here, it says record an audio uh, comment. This is, would be using my microphone on my computer. Record a video comment right there. Come on. Record a video comment and upload a comment if I have something. So let's say I'm going to, uh, I clicked on uh, ABC, which add a comment, and I would say, Adrusu to study. And I can write any comment, save. See that DG, which means Dr. Garman, and so you can have uh, DG. I'm now going to add, and once you make a comment, by the way, you can edit it, or you can delete it if you wish to do so. So now I'm going to add an audio comment. It's always going to ask me, are you sure? Notice that it says stop recording. Let's see if I can move it. Stop recording. Now, when I'm recording, I can see how this red pencil. So I'm going to write. So if you're asking, oops, that's not what I meant to do. But let's say I'm writing in Arabic. So adrusu to study. Stop recording. Notice that it says stop recording. Let's see. So it's asking me to click save. And I think I clicked too quick of a save. Now I'm going to record a video comment. So uh, I click on the video, my video come up. Adrusu to study. The same thing, I have this pencil right there and let's click on green and let's see. Adrusu, I click stop recording. Uh, I click on the video and you see my video come up. Adrusu to study. The same thing, I have this pencil right there and let's click on green and let's see. It's giving me a chance to cancel or save, so I'm going to click save. So now when your students come to view this, uh, these are the names. You hope that not the same person commenting, but different people have different com uh, comments. So let's, me, let's see if I can go on, uh, okay, I'm going to go into browse and I'm just going to, let's say math. Okay. So math, okay, this looks like. Hello, my name is Carlin Royster and this is my presentation. Okay. Okay, so that's, the, she's the only person. I want to go to one where there are actually several people are talking just to illustrate to you uh, six comments. Let's see if it's more than one person. See how they can have an icon? Hi, my name is Mr. Myers. So this person had actually added a video. This is. Another. I had a fun experience at the 2000. Okay, so people see out there. People have actually left a text comment, and notice that you can you can actually scroll up and down to see it. So the math beat was a wonderful experience. 
Okay, so I hope this illustrates to you how you can actually create, use, create an account. It's really a wonderful tool to use. So uh, let me know if you have any questions and have a marvelous